Hello, Southern Soul Tarot fam. I am going to be doing a um, reading to a night on a serial killer named Edmund Kemper. He was uh, born on 12 18 for, uh, 48, 1948, so that made him, he's 71 years old. He sits on a Sagittarius and Capricorn cusp. He was born in California. He was uh, arrested on 4-24-73, and his crime spanned from 1964 to 73 so um his uh body count let me see he was uh charged with eight life sentences but when i looked it up it said that he had killed 10 people i want to say one of them was his mother and father if i read it right but he was also nicknamed um the co-ed killer uh, the first two murders, when he was explaining them, he explained them as a complete mess, struggle, nightmare, and he did everything wrong. Um, he had also mentioned another time when he was about to, when he opened a switchblade knife behind someone, a woman's back, sh that she had said, what's that? And when he opened the pocket knife from behind her, and that he started just stabbing her to death, slitting her throat from ear to ear. And he said that's the first time he had learned um, the... Uh, the phrase of um, whatever it is when you cut somebody from ear to ear. Uh, I can't think of what it's called right now. But um, he says it in his interview. Uh, but like I said, he has eight life sentences. And actually, they said so they is very supposed to be very highly in, like highly intellectual. He's supposed to have the IQ of 145. So um, that's just like kind of a rundown on him. So let's, I already pre-shuffled the card, the shuffle the deck. Um, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, sorry for doing the setup this way uh, and changing the normal setup, but I got off a little bit late from work and it was just a little bit easier for me to set it up this way so um, I could get the best reading I felt out of it. Um, like I said, I channeled him a little bit, so we're going to see, I want to see what he was, um, thinking in his, uh, early adulthood going into the time he was getting ready to murder, the time that he was murdering, and what he felt, and then right after that. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first row. So, the first thing that popped out is when he was starting to get ready to murder, the Six of Pentacles in Reverse. So the Six of Pentacles in Reverse usually shows up when someone feels that something is not balanced and a bit unfair. So um, early in his adulthood, he felt that things were not balanced and fair. And I think that um, the Eight of Pentacles came out next, which would also, again, there's this Pentacles twice, which represents Capricorn, Torres, and Virgo. He is a Capricorn. So again, there's two uh, Earth cards on the board now. So that is his energy. He was working very hard to try to balance out something. And the star. The star to me is like life. Um, and I think he was trying hard to balance out life and in the sense of like he knew he was going to take life. He just didn't know how he wanted to do it yet is how I feel. So um, leading into his early adulthood when he started or, or leading into the time frame of when he started to kill people, like I said, which was in 1964. Let's see uh, what was he thinking in 1964 when he started killing people. He was the queen of, or not queen, I'm sorry, king of wands, reverse, or king of cups, reverse, I'm sorry. So he was uh, kind of going off his emotions. Like he said, a lot of times, um, I watched one interview on him one time a long time ago, and he said that, you know, when people would get all um, worked up and start screaming and stuff, it would make him more emotional. So, um... I think he felt that uh, maybe that's what put him into the reverse energy. It would make him upset. So that's why he would, like he said, repeatedly stab them and and make sure that they would stop screaming. So uh, you have the two of wands coming up next for underneath the uh, king of cups the reverse. So he would had to at some point make a choice um, while he was in the middle of his murdering spree. Um, yeah, this popped out reverse, which would be the, um, there you go. The Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords popped out underneath the Two of Wands. So the Five of Swords in reverse is like kind of like surrendering to the situation. Um, that might have been around the time he got captured. So we're going to see because he's not dead yet. So we're going to see how he feels about it now. Let's have the card. Hold on one second. 
And here it is. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. He is feeling Nine of Pentacles in reverse because he has had his independence taken away. He is behind bars. He's no, and again, that is a earth sign. Uh, he is no longer able to um, do the things that he enjoys doing and that made him feel human, which, you know, unfortunately for others was killing them. So he has had to answer to judgment on the other, when he's been arrested. Um, judgment's usually like, uh, when something needs to be done or, um, something like, like usually when you feel like something's not right or, um, maybe you are needing to make some type of decision, um, but you're just not doing it. Like you feel like you're getting like these, these hints like from the universe, but like you don't do anything about it. it. That's pretty much what judgment is. It's saying that, you know, go ahead and make a decision or the universe will make it for you. So that's what he's dealing with at this moment for whatever reason. So, um, and this is going to be, I'm not so sure it represents a uh, Capricorn, but I know it represents Virgo, which is also an earth sign, the hermit in reverse. So he has came out of a shell, I guess, in a way. I mean, he always was talkative. It's not like he ever was like denied anything that he did. I mean, he was very talkative about what he did, uh, to the women. So, um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and show this again real quick and then see why the Six of Pentacles is in reverse for his or like, right before he started getting ready to murder. Because the Four of Cups is here. So he felt that there was, um, like, the grass is greener on the other side energy for something. I think maybe he felt that, um, you know, it was... I kind of remember him saying, I think once that it was hard for him to talk to women and, and things like that. So maybe he felt like, you know, I want to say something to these women, but they like, they're just going to ignore me. They're just, you know, they, they don't care. You know, like they, I don't know. I felt like he felt rejected with that card for some reason. And then you have the eight of pentacles. So he's working hard on having, um, the queen of cups energy, which is like emotion. Um, so he was working hard on bringing in like emotion in the sense that maybe he didn't know how to show emotion because he was a murderer. So that's what kept him from um, having some type of equal give and take within a relationship. But um, I don't think he could have ever had a relationship, to be honest. I think anybody he came across, he would have eventually killed. Um, so the star is here, but it's here more in the mischievous way. You have something fast coming in, fast communication. So I think at that time he decides, um, to go ahead and start, um, making these, um, connections almost with these people. Uh, he, he would pick them up and, uh, he would take them places and, and murder them. And, and like I said, a lot of times it would be by twos. So, uh, you have the King of Cups in reverse with the Sun in reverse. So, the Sun could be in reverse because um, the Sun is usually like the new beginning, a new life. And basically, he was taking life away. So, I think that's why the Sun is in reverse next to the King of Cups in reverse. Because he was taking <clears throat> these young women and... <coughs> excuse me. I know it's a baby on the card, but to me, it represents just young youth pureness life and he has it reversed so to him uh, there was no such thing as young life and, and again he has the two of wands come out again for the two of wands which is pretty interesting so um and they're both looking in the same direction as each other too which makes it even more interesting so it's like he really had a decision to make at some point for some reason and um it involved with the five of swords it also involved for some reason the lovers reversed now, or not reverse, I'm sorry, upright. So, um, for whatever reason, maybe towards the end, around the time he got apprehended, that, that he was coming out of that five of the swords, wanting to slay everything that came across. Because here, you know, you have two people laying in the grass, just slaying to death. It's like overkill. And it seems like at some point, um, love stepped in somewhere, and, and that might have been what, what uh, interfered in the killings. And that's why he ended up getting caught. Yeah, because with the Nine of Pentacles, he fills the Nine of Pentacles, so he was. Maybe he had met somebody, and he was going to try to come out of that energy. And uh, the Ten of Cups got flipped into reverse because he got um, like he got arrested and got put in jail. So that was what the life he wanted to have wasn't going to happen. 
Um, I don't know. My psychic makes signals. That, like I said, as far as earlier, I feel like he really didn't pick up on that. He really ever could have a relationship, but maybe that's what he was. Maybe he dreamt about having a relationship. You know, I'm not sure. But um, next to judgment and upright, you have judgment in reverse, which kind of means like he still is not accepting. Um, well, actually, with these two, he's still alive. So, yeah, he could be the Ten of Pentac or ten of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse because they both mean different things. One's emotions, one's earthly things. So he misses um, probably being able to kill and then being able to do it in the earthly realm. Um, and then, like I said, judgment came out uh, upright and then judgment came out reverse right next to it. So he's not budging. He doesn't really seem to think that he's done anything wrong. And he's, I don't think, like... He felt like that's how what that's what I wanted to do at the moment, so that's what I did, and I don't regret it, and I'm not gonna pretend as if I do to make somebody else feel better, and it sounds harsh, but that's that's what I'm getting with the judgment reverse. I think really he don't give a flying you know f. So uh, with the hermit in reverse, you have justice in reverse, which is sometimes representing Libra. It's in uh, air sign. So, um, what we're going to do that, uh, with the hermit in reverse, uh, they were coming out of, he's coming out of a place where he was coming very introverted when he first got into jail. Um, and now that he's coming to a place where he's becoming out of his shell, that he's older, he is very, um, very honest about how unjustified that he feels that he's still in jail. I think he feels like he's done enough time. Like, he's old, he's 70-something years old, like, let him go. Like, I, I think he's a very arrogant person. Like I said, he's very smart, and he knows he's smart. So, he knows that he can kind of say things like, yeah, like, I just was flipping the cards and, and the secrets. Like I said, he, he knows that he can kind of twist things and make things work in his favor. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's... Things are done in the dark, you know, but later will come to light. But at this point, he feels like I'm 71, so when they come to light, I'll probably be dead. So he doesn't care. Like, that's what I feel like his energy is. I, I don't feel like he's very sorry for anything that he did. Um, that's just the energy that I get. I think if he has said it, maybe he said it, I mean, you know, genuinely, or maybe he just said it to make the families feel better. But I don't feel that um, he's genuinely sorry. Like I said, and this was Edmund Kemper. He was a serial killer, and um, I said he was born on 12, 18, uh, 48, so he's 71. He's a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cap, uh, Cusp. He was born in California, and his body count was um, up to 10 people, from what I understand, but he was given eight life sentences. His crime spanned from 1964 to 73, and his nick nickname was the Co-Ed Killer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything about him. If you are interested, sorry, I did not realize the camera was out of focus that whole time. Um, but if you're interested in looking at more on him, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube about him. And, um, actually I want to give a shout out also to, um, another YouTube channel, um, creator and her name, uh, the channel's name is Conscious Truth. And I would love if y'all could maybe check her out and subscribe. Uh, we were trying to maybe collab on something soon. Uh, she had wanted, I believe it was uh, you that wanted uh, Conscious Truth to collab on, or at least do a reading on David Crowley, or, or if I think I'm pronouncing it right. So um, I'm going to message you soon. I was going to get with you tonight, but it's a little bit late. So, um, but yeah, um, I want to go ahead and see if maybe we can collab on that because I was able to find some information that we had talked about, but I wasn't able to find all of it. So again, you know, um, I want to thank Conscious Truth for um, being, you know, stepping forward these last few readings with, um, you know, Heidi as well as Mystic Brady because she's always been there for me as well and another couple of um, subscribers. But um, I just want to thank y'all for being supportive. And again, um, please check out uh, Conscious Truth on YouTube and subscribe. She is great um, at where she to go has and, and does the, um, like the, I'm not sure what it's called. And I greatly apologize, but where you kind of do the, you turn on the, like the radio type of box thing and, and you can hear, um, you can ask them questions and it comes through. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, like I said, but uh, she, 
she does amazing sessions on that and um they're just really interesting and i would really just love if y'all could maybe check her out like i said and subscribe again so um like i said i want to thank y'all for watching and i will be seeing y'all possibly tomorrow if not i will definitely be uploading something on christmas for y'all so once again happy holidays to everyone if you enjoyed please subscribe we i'd greatly appreciate it we would love for you to be a part of the southern soul tarot fam and um if you have any questions, my email is in the about section. If you'd like a private reading, that info is also in the about section. So y'all have a great night and I will talk to y'all soon.